In this video, I'm going to cover the process of publishing a HTML5 web application to the Amazon App Store. Let's start by looking at an overview of the process. You start entering the general information of your app, then you'll move into setting the price and the availability in different regions and countries. You'll move on to enter description, keywords for your app, and all of the multimedia assets, the icon, screenshots, and the trailer video. You have to specify the content rating of your app and lastly provide the URL of your web app along with some other last details. Start by going to the Amazon Developer Portal at developer.amazon.com. Click on Amazon App Store. Sign in on your top right. That will take you to your dashboard. Scroll down your dashboard and click on Add New App. On Choose Platform, pick Mobile Web. The next step will be to enter your app's basic details, such as a name and a category, and customer support information. The app SKU, which stands for Stock Keeping Unit, is your own internal number or code for the app. It's common practice to use the reverse domain in this field. For instance, if your company website is example.com and your app is called Hello, the reversed domain what you would enter here would be com.example.hello. You can also enter specific customer support details for this app or you can have it use the default values you entered previously upon developer account creation. In the Availability and Pricing tab, you enter the price if it's, non, if it's a non-free app and the countries and regions where your app is going to be available. You can also apply your, uh, for the free app of the day program. The Description tab is a very important one as it's where you enter your app's description, features and keywords. It's highly recommended you spend some time making a good description and thinking of the right keywords that you want your app or game to be related to, as it will affect your app's discoverability within the store. Potential users will read this description and many will base their purchase decision according to what you're writing here. If you want to target multiple markets, you can also enter translated versions of your app's description and keywords. In the Images and Multimedia tab, you can upload an icon, screenshots, and a trailer video. Optionally, you can upload a promotional image, which is highly recommended, as it's what prospective users will see if your app ever gets featured by the store. You can take the screenshots using the Web App Tester tool, if you have a Kindle device, otherwise you can just use the Chrome developer tools or some other current web browsers development tools and emulate the screen size of the device you want to target. The promotional video is optional, but it's definitely recommended as it adds a lot of value. Prospective users will, will want to see your app in action and the video is a really good chance to impress them from the very start. In content rating, you have to specify whether your app includes certain topics, such as references to adult material. This will allow your app to be available only for the right segment of users. You can optionally submit a privacy policy URL. We're reaching the last step before a high five moment, which is the app files tab. In this section, you'll submit the URL of your app. Basically, what you enter here is what your users will get access to when they download your app. Let's remember that what users install in this case is an Amazon web view that will load this URL that you put in here. In this section, you also specify the permits that your app needs from the users, such as geolocation or in-app purchase, storage, and uh, the, the support of the different devices that you're, that you're including. As new devices come out, you might want to make sure that your app still runs smoothly on those. And also in this part, you have to enter, um, you have to accept whether your app complies with uh, the US um, export compliance requirements and that you have the right to distribute this web application. Um, in the last section of this, of this tab, you'll find an area where you can enter special instructions for the people who are going to test your app 
during the app review process. So for instance, if your app needs access to a certain, if there's like a demo account and it, it, that, that field is going to be the place where you will want to enter the uh, demo login and password for, for the testers of your app. So high five. You've, you are now all set to publish your first HTML5 web app at the Amazon App Store.